hello guys welcome to my new video so first of all happy new year to all of you and uh, in this video i am going to teach you the how to do a wiring of three phase energy meter as well as how to perform a db wiring so the materials we required are a three phase energy meter mccb of 63 ampere three pole mccb a 63 ampere double pole mcb and a 63 ampere rcd or it is also called as rccb we also required a single pole mcbs and uh, their amount is selected according to the load requirement similarly this one another three blocks we are taking one for r phase one for b phase one for y phase here are the neutral links and this one is a earthing link this one is a copper strip copper strip and this one is also a copper strip this one and this one too so these all strips are made up of copper so let's begin the wiring so first of all let us do a connection of three phase energy meter so as this one is a three phase supply we are using a energy meter of 7.5 kilowatt as you can see here 7.5 kilowatt energy meter for 3 bhk for 3 bhk so how the wiring of energy meter is done is as you can see this one is a utility port and this one is a r phase supply y phase supply b phase supply and a neutral so r phase supply is taken directly from the pole and it is given to one terminal so after that what we are doing is from second terminal we are taking the phase out and giving it to the mccb 63 ampere three pole mccb similarly we are taking a y phase let us support this green color is a y phase and we are giving it to a third terminal of energy meter and for, for, from fourth terminal and from fourth terminal we are taking a phase out from the energy meter and giving it to the mccb after that from b phase we are performing a similar connection to energy meter 5 so the connection is given to 5 and the phase out of b is taken out from 6 and it is similarly given to mccb so this is how the phase connections are given in three phase energy meter after that it's a turn for neutral connection so a neutral wire from utility pole is connected to seventh terminal of energy meter and from eighth terminal neutral is taken out and it is given to a copper bus strip so from here what we are doing is we are taking three neutrals out one two and three neutrals out and these three neutrals are given to the three blocks of each phases so this one is for b block phase and neutral is given here 63 ampere double pole mcb and this neutral is given here and this neutral is given to here for r phase block after that it's time for phase connection from mccb so from here so from here what we are doing is we are giving a phase connection to mcb r phase this one is y phase this one is a y phase let us support this is a y phase and this one is a b phase so from r phase a uh, phase in is given to the mccb of r phase block similarly for y phase and for b phase after this connection is done let's do a connection of this block particular block phase out from mcb 
is given to phase in of RCCB or RCD which means RCD means residual current device or it is also called as RCCB residual current circuit breaker. So this one is used for extra protection. Someone suffers the electric shock. This act as a circuit breaker means it will trip the circuit in terms of any electric shock occurs to any human being. So it act as human protection to we can call it in another words. So here phase is given. and neutral is also even as I am doing here so from here phase out is taken phase out from RCD or RCCB and it is given to copper strip common copper strip so this phase will act as common phase for all the MCBs connected here as you can see all MCBs are connected to common phase the size of this MCB depends on the load and sub circuit design as you can see here I am taking a 20 amps MCB 10 amps 16 amps and 6 amps so on so from here the connection is given to sub circuits of R phase which means we are giving it to the switches and from switches to load or sockets and the cable sizing of these wires depend on the load after that it's time for this neutral connection so the neutral out from the RC CB or RCD is taken out and it is given to a neutral link this one is a neutral link neutral link which is also of copper so from here the neutral wires are given to R phase sub circuit which means the neutral wires coming from the load which means the neutral phase coming from the load for only R phase sub circuit is connected to neutral link this one neutral link and similarly the connection for this one is also done let's do it quickly So this is how the connection is done. So this one is an earthing link, earthing link. This one is a neutral link, and this one is two neutral link, and this one is also made up of copper, and it is also called as copper strip. So how the earthing work is? A wire, one of the wire is given to the earth electrode, which is basically a bentonite powder. So the green wire, which is coming from load or from socket, is connected to here as you can see here basically it comes from socket so the body current uh, coming from the load is given here and from here it passes to the earth electrode so basically this is how the connections of earthing is given so earth conductors goes to all sub circuits around the three phases so let's have a discussion on sizing of cables too so the wires we are using here of basically of 10 square mm so for neutral wire we are taking the size of the neutral cable as half as that of phase so we are taking a size of around 5 square mm cable whereas in gulf uh, we are using a uh, size of the neutral wire as same as that of phase wire so for neutral wire let us take this size as 10 square mm and this one 5 square mm and there is a less amount of current in these wires so friends thanks for watching this video please like this video and subscribe to my channel electrical infinity thanks for watching this video you can also watch the video of a single phase energy meter connection and single phase distribution board installation